up? What the hell is up, <laughs> people? What's up, guys? Good, whatever day it is. Yes, good morning, good, good evening, good wherever you are, whenever you are watching this, welcome. Welcome to the Silverscope Podcast, a show about Pokemon Go, where we talk about news, speculate on ideas, and some more stuff. I am your host, Malcolm Judd, along with my co-host, Isma. Yes, and please like our video, subscribe to our channel, The Silf, comment down below on how we can improve our content. And, and of speaking course, of yes, content, of course, subscribe. The the word being subscribe because uh, as you know, we are uh, doing a giveaway. Are we? Yeah, we are <laughs> doing a giveaway. We're going giving away ten thousand Poke coins. You are giving away ten thousand. Yeah, Poke I coins. am. I am doing <laughs> Not that. Not we. I yeah, don't yeah. have any. <laughs> I will not give anything. Or, <laughs> just kidding. I'll, I was I'll, expecting you to pitch in, man. Like of, you could. <laughs> of course, I'll pitch in like um 100 coins. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, I'm fine with that as long as you pitch in. Anyway, it's in, uh it's probably in the link in the description down below. Click the uh, just just follow that link. If you want 10,000 Poke coins for free, just uh, go to that link. The instructions are there. Yeah, you'll uh, you'll get a chance to win ten thousand coins and stuff. Anyway, community day is uh upon us, and uh, there'll be two community days. Where will you be, man? This Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, I will not be playing. I am not available on Saturday, but on Sunday, Socks. I would be on Eastwood. Eastwood, yeah. So, uh, I think I've already announced this on Twitter, but uh, yeah. On Saturday, I will be on. I'll be in B -G -C. BGC. I'll be in BGC. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot my own announcement. I'll be in BGC, and on Sunday, I'll be at uh, Eastwood too. Um, are you sure you're going in Eastwood? Because I think I've heard that most people are going to Quezon City Circle around that time. So. It's a good place to go on Eastwood uh, if you I want don't care. a lot. We, we don't, you have <laughs> want a few people. Especially since it's rainy. Oh, it would yeah. be best on a shaded place. Like Yeah, um, but Eastwood is a shaded place. So it's, it's, it's fine it's, with me. Yeah, it is kind of shaded. It's, it's kind I, of shaded. Kind man. of shaded. But yeah. I, I don't feel shaded when it's sunny right there. Mm. Anyway, I'll be there regardless of wherever people are. And uh, where I... Where, and the weather, yeah, regardless of the weather. And if you go there and come say hi to me or maybe Isma, uh, we'll be uh, give away, giving away some uh, special stuff. What is that special stuff? Should, and I, uh, should I announce it here? Yeah, um, if I, I, I announce it here for exclusively for the people who listen to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, uh. not everybody listens or watches this podcast so uh here's a little uh what's what's the word um secrets or secrets <laughs> whatever for you exclusive info for you if you go to the uh to uh bgc or uh eastwood we'll be giving away trade stickers or what? And, and the uh and some basically stickers no <laughs> That reaction, man. No. It's so stupid. No way. <laughs> anyway, I'll try. What? What? No. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> That's a bit of an exaggeration. Yeah, it's too, too, too very exaggerated. Anyway, I'll be putting it here. Yeah, it. This is the trade sticker, and uh, this is the. Uh, the self sticker. So if you want some of this uh, stuff that's gonna be uh, given away, yeah, just uh, come say hi. Look for me. Look for Isma. Yeah, yeah. say hi. Mostly look for him because yeah, I don't have the me, yeah. I don't have the stickers yeah. yet. I'm gonna get it printed today. I'll I'll, I'll personally. I'll oh yeah, I'll come with you. So yeah. I will have the sticker. Yeah, so yeah. you can meet me. I'll as well. personally cut it by my own hands. So, so. So There's if you want, too. so you want to, if you want to feel closer to Judd, <laughs> in a physical way, as if you are touching his hands, oh holding God. his hands tight, oh, grasping fish. the palms. Okay. 
<laughs> I, I'm getting too specific, mm-hmm. too specifically central right now. So okay. I'll just keep stopping before it okay, gets good. weirder. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Stickers, come see us. Community Day. Speaking of Community Day, let's get into the, the news. news. Let's get into the news. <laughs> you're not ready for it. Okay, uh, come here today. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Niantic has released an update and uh, people have data mined it. Unfortunately, it does not have any any traces of the new evolutions, yeah. which is Leafeon and Glaceon, which uh, sucks because a lot of people were expecting it and uh, Niantic will be missing a great deal by not releasing Gen 4 with the uh, EV Community Day. Yeah, but at least I think they, we can still keep some candies just for the evolution. But it mm-hmm. it kind of sucks that we won't have any Leafeon or Glaceon, a special Community Day Leafeon or Glaceon. Yeah, exactly. That's, that sucks. So, so maybe maybe just save two shiny EVs for... Uh, Leafeon and Glaceon. I think they would be. They would have a specific evolution like Espeon and Umbreon, unlike the three V V yeah, 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 yeah. kind of player. Exactly. Yeah. I really thought that they were going. I was like ninety percent sure. The ten percent being the Niantic factor. <laughs> that it's just Niantic being yeah. Niantic. Yeah, Niantic thing. being Niantic. Yeah, we haven't said that in a quite a long time now, man. Yeah, because we haven't podcasted in quite a long time now. <laughs> True, no, but we didn't say it in the last uh, two, two episodes. episodes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah, what they did find on the uh, data mine was the move of EV, which is last resort, which actually which was just actually announced a few mm-hmm. days ago. Yeah, tell us tell us about this man, last resort. What do you think of it? Um, last resort is a normal type move in the. In the main series game, so it's probably going to be a normal type move in the game, unless they, d- unless normal normally, I'm sorry. Um, last resort is a special move that is much like hyper beam, which is very very powerful. It won't see much use in the meta, especially since normal it's not normal type. Mm-hmm. It won't have any same type same type attack bonus on the evolutions itself. But True. it's a great um. Um, gimmick move or a just a collection move if you want if you want a special EV that can learn that or a special evolution mm-hmm. that can learn that and in the future there won't be any evolution with the last resort so you can use it as a trade piece mm-hmm. in the future so I've r- read on reddit that Espeon and Flareon on a specific weather like I think it's partly cloudy it they will have uh I think it would be the best EV with evolution with last resort. Oh, I'm, I did you have you have you read that? I no. don't really care about. Last yeah, resort yeah, yeah, yeah. I've read that uh, Espeon and Flareon with last resort on a part on a partly, partly cloudy. cloudy weather would be a great neutral attacker. Yeah, is what I've read. But here's the thing: normal type is one of the worst offensive types in game because there's no type is weak to normal type. I see. So it yes, it is a great neutral attacker. Neutral, it's a general but, thing. General but type thing. For neutral attackers or general generalist attackers, there are better options. Like for example, um. Dragon Knight or Mewtwo or Raikou, stuff like that. Like even Kyogre is better on a generalist standpoint. So, it's it's great. It's a great generalist, but it's not the best. And if you already have the best, there is no point. But if you are a returning player, you should keep note of that information because you might you might you might it might be useful since you may you may have missed the rate. Um, Ray, like Rayquaza or Kyogre and maybe you haven't caught your first Mewtwo yet so use this last resort information that Judd Jud just mentioned to your own use if you don't have a good attacker yet you yeah. can use that 
Yeah, before when I was like starting, I didn't have any good attackers, and I uh, tried. I used the the weaker one. So yeah, yeah, having this might be a uh, might be a good thing to have if you are uh, just returning or just starting. Yeah, so you should you should still get that last resort mm-hmm. as an attacker if. You are a starting. You're just starting or mm-hmm. returning. If you are a long time player that has everything, y- you should. You're you're probably just going to shelf that, mm-hmm. and you're just gonna so keep it. It's just gonna story. be a part of your collection. Yeah. Anyway, another part of this, uh, another thing that's missing from this APK mine, is that there is no, uh, the gender thing for Eevee. Do you know how in uh, Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee has like a heart-shaped tail? Did you know about that? I'm not sure that Eevee has a... No, yeah. In Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee does have oh, a Oh, in gender. Eevee. Eevee has Eevee. a heart-shaped Let's tail. Eevee, okay. So do you know like the white tip on Eevee's tail? Yeah. It's shaped like a heart for a female oh, Eevee. So a lot of people dang. were actually expecting that Niantic would... Release this model in Pokemon Go in, in a in a with the uh, Pokemon Let's Go thing, but nope. Yeah, because sorry, my mic just. Died. His mic has died. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you can't hear him. Yes. Hello. Yes, he is hello. shouting bad words right now. Isma. Hello. I think. Uh, yeah, there, there we, we go. go. Um. <laughs> I am so sorry um, for the technical difficulties. Hello. I think I'll just hold it like this so yes. it won't be gone. Anyway. Um, where was I? <laughs> I, I um on if you if you watch the trailer on Pokemon Let's Let's Go, it is similar to the sprites in Pokemon Go or in Pokemon Sun and Moon mm-hmm. or in Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon or o- Basically Omega Ruby every Alpha Sapphire. EV you've every, seen before. every sprite since the Pokemon X and Y it's still the same. So, mm-hmm. um, if you if you check the Pokemon Let's Go, it it's smoother, I think, compared to the mm-hmm. earlier sprites. So, I think if Niantic is ever going to do that model, I think there will be a great sprite overhaul mm-hmm. on all the sprites. I and I think they're slowly doing that because... I think they are, yeah. Because... The colors of some Pokemon are changing when they have a shiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So true. I think that's not only do Niantic release the shiny slowly, they're also releasing a more updated sprite. True, true. So maybe it, when Community Day comes, since it would release shiny Eevee, maybe they would change that sprite into the mo- more updated sprite. Maybe the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee sprite. Yeah. Sprite. I really do hope to see the uh, Pokemon Go Let's Go EV sprite because it's pretty cute. You, you can finally tell which is a male EV and a uh, female EV. Yeah. You should, you should look into that. See the, what it looks like. Um, I'm not. I'm not really that interested in Pokemon Let's Go. Anymore. I am. I am very, <laughs> very excited for Pokemon Let's Go. Are you? Pla- are you planning? Uh, 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 are you uh, planning on uh, buying Switch? <laughs> are you planning on buying? Nintendo yeah, I Switch? think I, I think I'm obligated to get a Nintendo Switch and play Let's Pokemon Go. Let's go. Yeah, what are you going to get? Let's Let's go Eevee. Or let's oh, go Pikachu? I have talked a long and hard about this, and I want to get the Eevee version. Why? Because it's Eevee, man, and Pikachu sucks for me. <laughs> yeah, I've always liked Eevee more than uh, Pikachu. I never liked them both. So, but if I had to choose, if I really had to choose, it's going to be Eevee because because Pikachu will just be electric type. Um, Eevee, you can choose between the mm-hmm. three. Exactly. So exactly. You can. You can. Ah. I am so Eevee. sorry for having uh technical difficulties. They gave uh as you know we are recording in a karaoke place and uh. This is the, the room... first time we've yeah experienced this. Mm-hmm. They gave us a bad room. Yeah, um, and you can clearly you can clearly see hear the static if you're listening. Yeah, it's it's because of these mice. It's yeah, it's it's a it's a bit damaged. So. Yeah. Anyway, what else did they did they find in the APK mine? 
Um, also, they find in the APK mine some few um, quest conditions like the days in a row. So maybe there would be quests that are not just for one day. Maybe it would take a few days oh, to complete. Oh, so like a streak. Yeah. Cool. Much like, much like a streak. And also, according to GoHub, there's also a field research quest for sending gifts. For evolving into a certain Pokemon, mm. um, and yeah, exclusive quests. I wonder what that is. Yeah, exclusive quests. Um, they still have not. I've still. I think not this seen... would be perfect for uh for events. Yeah, I think it's for events or maybe for for sponsored sponsors. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds um, cool. For sponsored Pokestops, um. Oh, speaking of wait, I forgot. Since I also saw the uh, Pokemon Go Plus thing, I want to get the Switch with the uh, EV version and the Pokeball Plus accessory. So that's what I'm hoping to get. Yeah, I'm not really that interested, but I think the cool part is that the Pokemon you would hear the Pokemon inside. Yeah, the Pokeball. no, I I do like. Just the Pokeball thing. I know it's a bit bigger and heavier than a Poke, a Poke Go, Pokemon Go Plus, but but the uh, USB USB charging is just it's just enough for me. I know that the that they said that it has a three hour life, but I think I'm pretty sure that that uh, that estimate is for when when you're actually playing Pokemon Go. Let's Pokemon. Let's go. Not using the Pokeball Plus as a uh, Pokemon Go Plus. So much words. <laughs> I hope you understood that. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of Pokemon Go Plus, um, the APK mine shown some messages, error messages regarding um, the Pokemon Go Plus. So it would be easier to detect what is wrong when you are connecting. So mm -hmm. that's a good addition to the APK. Yeah, which is, would be nice if we had Pokemon Go Pluses. Yeah, I know I made a video before that I lost my Go Plus and then I found it again. A few weeks later, I lost it completely. It's it's gone. I left it in a taxi. Yours? Um, I lost mine as... I think one or two days after I watched the part where you lost your, your <laughs> Pokemon, Go, Pokemon Go Plus. I didn't learn anything about that. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, speaking of the new APK, there are reports that people are having a hard time when they are catching Pokemon that are stacked in the researches. Oh yeah, it's because they, they they are now limiting the uh, no, stack research. No, 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 not that um with the uh, regarding the stack research, when you put a berry, some people can't catch the pokemon. Oh, so I, it's I didn't I don't have that. I've sorry. I've heard some of them. I I've I've yet to confirm if it is a real bug or is just a specific bug for certain devices. There's there there are such bu bugs like that. So if you've experienced that, you should report it to Niantic or you can share your your experience experience in the comments down below. Yeah. Anyway, uh we 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 do we have any more uh, stuff that Um there's not much in the APK mines. Um also there are no gen 4 nods no, on nothing. This actually has been a slow news week. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. no no. There's also the uh, Pokemon Let's Go news. Yeah, that they will be uh, uh, that mega evolutions will be coming will be coming will be coming to that game, and uh, new mega evolutions for some of the uh, Kanto Pokemon. Yeah, there will still be mega evolutions. Um, there Cerebi also reported that when you transfer a shiny from Pokemon Go to Go Park, it will still retain a shiny, obviously, but... Obviously? But we, we still need to confirm it because people don't... I also heard that in Pokemon Go... and uh, In Pokemon Go, let's go. In Pokemon Let's Go, you can actually see a a shiny Pokemon in the over overworld. So unlike in Pokemon Go, you need to click it before you see if it's shiny or not. Yeah. You can actually see if the Pokemon is shiny or not in the overworld yeah and speaking of shinies 
Um, another thing that was reported the last last week when we don't have a pod, we didn't have a podcast. Yeah, we didn't. Is, I'm, um, I'm so sorry. A new, new, a uh, new two sets of shinies have been released, which is shiny Houndour oh, and yeah. shiny Snubble. Yeah, and people, uh, if, and Spinda, yeah, Spinda. Shiny Spinda? No, 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 no. no. Oh, just Spinda, Spinda was just released. Yeah, Spinda was released. The shiny Hounder, the goatee, shiny shi- the goatee Spinda, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which or so they called. Um, also regarding that, if you are living in the Philippines, there is a huge snubble nest in Metro Manila, which is in Quezon City Circle. If you are oh. celebrating Community Day on so Quezon City, so that's why people are going there. Yeah. That's exactly because that's mm-hmm. exactly the reason because it's not because during community day they can shiny check because I think the the last community day or last two community days when I went to Quezon City Circle there was no nest Pokemon not mm-hmm. a single swine up during the swipe the swine up nest era of so the so why go there before and after before and after the event you can oh, I you see. can go there and so shiny. they can uh, stay after the community day and, and then, uh, shiny hunt probably shiny hunt yeah yeah if you live li- live near Quezon City that's a great place to start your first community day if you're just starting in on community day I would probably change my mind but I already announced where I'll be so I'm I'll not, changing, not changing my mind I'm not changing my mind because I think Eastwood is a better option for me because I, it has greater response and more I'm, Pokemon for me. Yeah, I'm. I'm. And the shorts are wor- the the walks are shorter and the uh, the spawns are greater. The spawns are better and the uh, establishments in the area are just mwah. Yeah, and the spawns, the non-event spawns are great as well. Mm-hmm, that's true. You can catch a lot of evolutions there. Mm-hmm. I was surprised. I. I think I can see evolu- mm-hmm. evolved Pokemon. Re- yeah, I, I know well. that uh, 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 a dra- Dragonite usually comes by here yeah. and there. And uh, I know that you got your unknown tea. Yeah, I got my unknown, unknown tea there. And mm-hmm. I I think Eastwood is one of the best places to grind in mm-hmm. the whole For me, country. Eastwood is the best place to spend community day in. How so? Yeah, just the, the oh, stuff okay. we just said right now. Oh, same. That's the, the same yeah. reason I did. So, yeah. I can't say that it's the best, but I have to travel a lot because you, you've already tried a lot of mm-hmm. the famous places. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just haven't gone to Pasig, Ortigas, Makati. Those those three three cities, cities that I haven't gone for a community day. Have you tried La Mesa Eco Park? Uh, no, I don't know if... People do, play there. do people play? I, I have no idea. No. I don't think so. No, I know that the uh, Fairview people they just go to QCMC. Oh yeah, because it's more convenient and La Mesa Echo Park really has a few spawns. But mm-hmm. if it's a nest, yeah, but the people here's go the, there. Here's the funny thing about La Mesa Echo Park: there are more nest spawns outside the park <laughs> than inside. <laughs> That's very weird. Yeah, I've tried to go there. I, for a Clefairy nest, I think before raids, mm-hmm. um, I've caught more Clefairy outside the park mm-hmm. than going inside. <laughs> so, well, at least you got some. Yeah. Um. Also, a few minor, a few minor news. Minor news. Um. The Yokosuka, the Yokosuka tickets have been give have been given out. We, I haven't gotten one. Of course, I haven't gotten one. I didn't get didn't one. I didn't even me. register. Yeah. Why would I? I'm not even going. Yeah. And even though we... I think we had the personal conversation that we were planning to, but... Yeah. It felt it felt true. But another thing, during the... There was a Articuno Day in Japan mm-hmm. that... It was a both Articuno Day and Squirtle Community Day yeah, in because, one Yeah, uh, because a lot of uh, swoop. bad weather thing yeah. in Japan. So, uh, they got delayed. So, yeah. Yeah, and the good thing is that during that time, we got a free raid passes. Yeah, and I didn't got to take I didn't get to take advantage because I was working at the time that that happened. Honestly, how would you take advantage with that? Because 
the only the T5 right now is Registeel. Registeel. And so literally nobody is nobody's is, raiding Registeel. Yeah, I think the only ones that is that are raiding Registeel are the returning players. Yeah, but that's and like, there's you can still only find a few people who wants to raid yeah. Registeel. It's hard to make a raid group. The last time I've raided the Registeel was the last podcast so <laughs> so that's the oh, that's the I, that's the I think yeah, I caught like three two two weeks ago yeah and I even complained why did I why did I catch three register in one day I was only <laughs> planning on getting two why would I get three so I it's uh the regist register is is not a good do you think that it could have been better if Niantic uh Niantic First, uh, they released the Registeel trio, the Regi trio first before the the main legendary Gen three trio, Rayquaza, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. So think what? Of, think Rayquaza, about it. Rayquaza, Kyogre, I, no, no, and Rayquaza. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, Groudon, Groudon. Yeah. So just think about it. Think about it. So Gen three gets released, right? Yeah. So instead of them releasing Groudon first, they release the minor Regi. The Regi, the Regi, the le- the minor legendaries, which is the Reggie trio, and then right now during summertime in their area, they would release the uh, the main trio. For me, it I think it would be it it could have been more exciting if uh, if if they did that. I think they did the best they could because they released the Reggie trio during the time that it's not really the raids that are giving the best buzz in Pokemon Go. It's trading. Yeah, that's friends. True. That's true. So this this summer is a summer for friendship and trading and not for raiding. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Speaking of friendship, we, we actually have our own news. We 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 got to int- ultra friends. Yeah. Yeah, this, this what yeah. Did we, Yay. We just, yeah, that's it. That's, that's the it. end of the Um thing. you're not you're not getting something out of it. <laughs> um we we're just selfish enough to announce yeah. it even though you're not gonna yeah, benefit ultra from fans, it. Yeah, just, just that's just it. Yeah. Are you my fr- are are you uh, am I your first ultra friend? No, uh, probably not. No, because you you fell behind. Yes. Um you're not also the first my first ultra friend because I w- it was going to be both you and Olympian but since that mid be, that that hour before midnight oh, yeah, we true. didn't reach ultra friends yet. So Olympian beat me to it by just 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, but that, it's not really a race. That doesn't matter anyway. Anyway, but and also the reason why we're rushing that because we're planning on trading the Articuno. The try my age his shiny Articuno for my shiny Kyogre. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you have an extra sh- shiny shiny Articuno? No, I don't have any shiny Articuno. Oh, fish. I was, I'm getting the shiny Articuno. Yeah. I'm Never not mind. giving mine. I was, I was, man. I, I didn't, I did not get a shiny Articuno. Anyway, let's, let's stop this. This oh, friends no. thing. Before we forget, the last part of the news is regarding raids again. Because not only did Japan get a... An, a their very own Articuno Day, a place named Azores. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. their own Articuno Day because they're in a limbo place in between the European area and the Atlantic area, which mm-hmm. is the Americas. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. they got their own community day because they they did not get. No, I, I not mean not they got their day, own Articuno they, Day. They got their own Artic- Articuno and uh, they will get a Zapdos Day because. Uh, they did not get a an Articuno day and a Sabdos day. And it, it's and it's not before. actually day. It's a week, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think, or, or a few days. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing about... Here's the reason why I want to talk about this. Because let me sh- let me shed some light on why is why this Azores thing is a great thing. Okay, because um, this is what... This is a great way... For Niantic to make Azores a honeypot of sorts. Oh what yeah, I get pot? it. I get it. I know it. We didn't, what is the honeypot? Yo, honeypot is like a pot of honey, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. That would probably attack, uh, no, attract them uh, buzzy, buzzy flies. Yes. And Niantic is using this to detect we, uh, the people who are uh, spoofing. Yeah, because 
it's probably a small community there, so Niantic can actually determine which of these are really the ones that are living living as there, as and who 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 are the one who are the ones who are take, taking the opportunity and Azores to mm-hmm. raid uh, for a few days because because there are been there have been reports that it's the first time they've seen in Azores multiple twenty player lobbies. <laughs> yep. That's definitely spoofers. Yeah. And this is a great opportunity for Niantic to hunt down those spoofers. Mm-hmm. Especially since they released their own, their their tree strike policies yep. and some sorts. For me just, just ban them all. No more yeah. tree strikes. Boom. Just strike them three times already. Yeah, <laughs> one, two, three. One, you suck. One, two, three. Anyway. Anyway, speaking Anything of striking. Is... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of striking. Striking and attacking stuff. Our main topic is, is one of the uh, actually the biggest news for this week is is that uh, where where did this news come from? Um, this report came from a Twitter something. Oh, a, no, it interview. is an interview with the Polis magazine Gram from Anne. Bill Ten Mueller. Yeah, I, I hope which is I Niantic. pronounced that right. I think you're butchering it. Anyway, <laughs> she. I think this is she. I think. Oh, it's obviously, she. It's she an is Anne. a Niantic's Anne can be guys. Why can't Anne be guys? <laughs> Let's not get into this, man. <laughs> so Anne is so Niantic. So, so Anne can only be a girl. Come on, man. She, not she, can be, she can be whatever she wants to be. There's no <laughs> stopping her. Except if she it, wants it. to be a butterfly, then go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anne is Niantic's head of product marketing in the uh, EMEA region. What is EMEA? I, I have no idea. All I, all I want is to hear about PVP. Here's the thing. What what are the places that gets a community? That gets the same community day during the middle part of the area. What? First, Asia and the first one is Asia and Australia. The last one is the Americas. Which one are started in the middle? It's Europe, Europe, Middle East, uh, and oh, I see. Africa. Uh, That's EMEA. AMEA. Now you know. T I L. Today I learned something. Yeah, and. I didn't Google that. I just used my common sense. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because I I realized what is what is the EMEA region. I could have done that myself, but I was too lazy to think about maybe it. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Comment he's down wrong. below. <laughs> if he's wrong, <laughs> strike me. <laughs> strike him. Yeah. Anyway, Ban him. Speaking of striking again. Yep. Um, <laughs> striking and hitting stuff. Yeah. They they said and uh, the, come on. Let's let's just read the. Translated interview. Quote, Now we are working on the PvP mode which will soon appear. In addition, we're still working... I'm sorry if I'm butchering the accent of anyone. I'm not... I'm, I, it's, a, it's a cross between Indian and German and a sort of Swedish. I sound Indian most of the time, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah. In addition, we're still working on improving the feature that has just, just made display its the debut. Text. Just what? display the text during no, the No, I video. wouldn't. It's too much edit. The, uh, it's all about friends, such as the ability, uh, blah, 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 blah. All, all that matters is uh, we are constantly improving the elements that we have available in the game. And the next thing that we want to add at the end of this year is the PvP mode. And then, it blew up. Everybody reported on it. IGN, made the main tech sites, yeah, they, they all said, oh my god, PvP is coming by the end of the year. Yay. So, Niantic is now under pressure to actually do it this yeah. year. And here's, here's the funny part because they want to add it. Well, why? They're not saying that they are adding it. Mm. They want to add it. There's still a possibility, however big or small, that PvP won't come until next year. Why? But at le- because they want it. It means th- there might be yeah, some. Yeah, there true. might be something that's holding it back. Much like trading, maybe 
much like trading, trading was hold back for two years. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's something that they are still working out to make the make PVP fair, to make PVP a good system. So they want to add it, mm-hmm. but the yeah. big question is there. There's two big questions which are going to discuss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will they add it, and if so, how? Of course they will. We've answered it. Next question. I th- <laughs> how? Okay. <laughs> I'll give an over under. Um, over or under forty percent? No, you're a bit optimistic. So over or under seventy five percent? Will mm. Niantic add PVP within the year? I think it's over for seventy five percent because they they release this knowing that if they uh they say this it will blow up and which it did. People are now expecting it and uh they actually gave. Some kind of timeline, end of this year. Even if they want the word is the word me the word want, I think that's their goal. That uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's being developed. It's they're probably testing it internally yeah. internally right now. So yeah. yeah, what about you, man? Are I, you over or under seventy five percent sure I about hope, this? Yeah, I, can you hear? Me? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Why can't I hear myself? Holy fish, you're deaf. Hello. <laughs> One, two. Yeah, I can hear now. you. Can, you um, can hear me. Sorry, sorry for those who are using. Again, we're sorry. Um, this is yeah. a bad room. I, what room is this? Seven. Let's not be asked to be to be I put think here again. Been here before. Yeah, I but think. but the, the equipment yeah. has not been like this when we when, when we recorded, recorded here recorded before. Here. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I can hear now. Um. I think one of the what is the question? Are you uh, ah, over are you over seven uh, percent? Yeah. I think I'm I'm a shy under because I think it's seventy five seventy to sixty five percent because yes they want to add it but there is still a small possibility in my opinion there is a small possibility that they can't add it be- because of how they translated it or how. Th- or even how she said it, they won. If they said they are, no, but they, they could have said they could have said we. I know. Uh, we want to add or we PV- are planning. We are planning to do PVP mode, period. Yeah, if we are planning, I think the uh, the possibility will will. It means what? What it means is they're they're develop de- developing it right now. Yeah, and they are. See, yeah, I told yeah, you. Yeah. It was uh. It had, it's weird yeah. earlier. Anyway. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I, I, got, I got lost. Um. Yeah, because they said they want, there's still a possibility. It's just a small possibility in my opinion. But I think because they said it and they publicized it, I think they're going to deliver it. They, they're, they're going to. They have to now because they have to people now. are expecting it. People have picked up on it. Yeah, and they said at the end of this year, so... I think it's around the time weather was released last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, so around perfect, the time. perfect, yeah. That sounds so, good for me. That was like December 9. Yeah. I remember and it. It's perfect because the Christmas is season is the season where most people fight. Oh, yeah, yeah. True yeah, story. Yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's true. It's very, very true. Yeah, and also... Did we like, did you get anything more from that interview? Um... Yeah, when they ask if there is a new Pokemon, they said, this day will certainly come, but I cannot say what exactly will be added. But yes, we will still add new Pokemon to the game. See, which is, is, what, which is, is actually I mean. which is actually a vague answer because yeah, of exactly. course they'll add po- Pokemon in the game. This is <laughs> this is what I mean. This is super vague. They did not release they, some kind of schedule at all. They, it didn't add or it didn't add any new information regarding new Pokemon. <laughs> We know that we're g- they're gonna add new Pokemon at some point. We know that point. they're gonna add new Pokemon at some point. Of course, of course, of course you can't say exactly. Alright, calm down, man. Calm down. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, <laughs> anyway, this, this is what I'm talking yeah. about. They, unlike, unlike the PvP where, where she said, she, End of th- the there, year? There's, there's a timeline. They, they're not, they're super vague. It's yeah. super vague. So, here's the question. I think, I think the ov- the answer is the answer is obvious here, but 
I still want to ask you, Gen 4 or PvP, which will come first? Hmm. It's a it's an obvious answer because there is a there is a first one that was hinted already. Yeah, yeah I think the, Gen Four will probably more like Gen Four will out. probably more like. I mean, come first. December is a, a very long time away from now. Yeah, yeah. they could we, they could release Gen Four in any of the succeeding months from yeah, now. Yeah, and that would mean that since they would release a big feature during each quarter. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait a sec. When did they release um? When did they release um research? April uh, or March? Uh, April. Um I'm not sure if I think I think they, they, they're not on their quarterly schedule I, I'm anymore. Not, but yeah, if if they still have four I mean they'll still have four major releases mm-hmm. during the year. The first one would be research, second one would be trading, the third and fourth one could be Gen, Gen 4, four and P V P. PvP. Yeah. Sounds cool. No, if that's so, maybe if, they, if they're not gonna do it this year, the PvP, they'll probably do it uh, January. Yeah. Because yeah. the yeah. first, the first quarter, maybe the first quarter that they added the new, the feature they might have added in the first quarter might be Community Day. Yeah. One can argue, or the s- gen, not, not or gen three part it's two, an event. or gen three part two. Uh, yeah, some can argue like argue that. Um. How do you think they would? No, no, no. I, I, I'm gonna. I, I was actually gonna ask you. <laughs> you first, man. I actually have some some a a pretty good idea. Tap and swipe next. Uh, no, come on, man. <laughs> Elaborate. No, no. They tap. They swipe to dodge. Oh God. Okay, your turn. No. <laughs> come on. I actually have no idea. Come I, on, man! I actually... I gave you time to think yeah. about how they would implement it. I've been Before thinking... Before the podcast, I told Isma, you have, you have like, this many hours to think about uh, how, Here's how the thing, man, they could do it. I've been thinking about how they would implement PvP since the day they said PvP would be possible, which is the start of Pokemon Go itself. So, I'm ah. having a hard time to to grasp how they would do PvP that would still be the same because if they change the battle system completely then how about raids? How would they do raids? Would they still have a turn ba- if they do a turn based PvP they would probably do a turn based raids. So why not I think- both do the tapping and swiping thing for raids and turn based gameplay for PvP? I think that would suck because it would make because yeah. it makes sense for raids to have tapping and swiping. Because turn-based raiding is not a good idea. Yeah. But p- turn-based PvP is a good idea. Yeah. And I think they can compromise by... I think they. I've always said this, but the JW Alive battle system is a great... Oh, actually, he's gonna talk about that, you fish! Yeah. I've already told this... A bunch of times, but wait, what you have when? Yeah, I think no, I you think haven't. I've to- I, 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 no. I haven't talked about it no, in the podcast. No, okay, okay, so okay, okay. Let's talk think- about it. Okay, let's talk okay, about it. Okay, and then you're gonna explain it if you're <laughs> okay, 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 maybe fine. have a better idea. Okay, fine. Because I honestly, as much as an idealist as I am, I I got a great I got great ideas regarding other stuff. I even had an idea before TMs how they would implement TMs because I. I have I have no idea how would they implement the PvP. Just copy Jurassic World yes. alive. Yeah, and that's basically it. Oh come on. Uh, as rip off as it is, Jurassic World alive is actually interesting. Their PvP is actually pretty good. So if you can connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is <laughs> if you can connect. This is this is how it works. Okay, so okay, quick disclaimer. Of co- yes, of course, I I played. Jurassic World Alive, it's it's pretty cool, ex- especially the uh, PvP part. So this is how it works. So you have this collection of uh, dinosaurs, right? So you yeah. would pick like eight of those dinosaurs what? and <laughs> come on, man, <laughs> stop and try to explain here. Oh, sorry. Anyway, uh, you're gonna pick eight dinosaurs, and when you go to the uh, PvP mode, you connect, you you pl- you press battle. And then uh, it's gonna link you up with someone on the internet, and then it's gonna it's 
from all from all the eight dinosaurs you that you pick, they're gonna pick four randomly. So you and then you have to battle it out with the other person. Now this is actually good because uh, let's say you want to use okay. So for me, the best dinosaur for me to use is the Velociraptor. And yeah, then, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, the Velociraptor is for me is is my favorite one to use and. Uh, I always want to use the Velociraptor, but you can't always get a Velociraptor because it's randomized. So yeah. if you don't get a a, uh, a Velociraptor, you have to think like these are the dinosaurs that I have. What can they do, and how will I win with these dinosaurs? Yeah. So if you implement that in Pokemon Go, that would be great. Yeah, and actually using that random system there's actually a similar system in the main series games regarding that do you know how they play the ba- they play the be- because in pokemon there's always a vgc competition which is the video game competition yeah, 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 for pokemon yeah, yeah. do you know how they do battle in no, the no no it's a double battle you have a six party team oh i see but during during the during the preparation stage you will select four out of the six mm-hmm. yeah that's it yeah it's not random but yeah, you, have, you, you have to select to... but it, oh. for me it's better random because it forces you to actually think about what what strategy you're gonna use to win yeah but the good thing about the vgc one is because it's not it's not random if you see a if you see the team of the opponent mm-hmm. you can actually see wait he'll probably use that so I'll probably use this as a mm-hmm. counter and in case they use that they use this yeah that's um, true that's true. That's actually that's also a good thing knowing what the other yeah. teams but so you can counteract s- it since the moves in Pokemon Go are really simplistic it your point is actually more fun and more fair mm-hmm. because it's probably going to have you're probably going to have an opponent mm-hmm. with Dragon Knight. Yeah, exactly. Blissey. Even Blissey is good in PvP. Mm-hmm. Um Blissey with Tyranitar. Probably all the pseudo legendaries, since there's already four pseudo legendaries in the game right now. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh what was I gonna say? I forgot. Yeah. Um during the random part. Um Um in the random part, um you said that you select four, then you would have to pick and choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I remember now what, what I was gonna say. So, since uh, you don't know what's gonna happen, you don't know what their team is gonna be, you yeah. don't know what your dinosaurs will be. Yep. I can't I, hear you. Yeah. Just I'm, let me talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying yep so I can test. <laughs> so, my reaction is fine. <laughs> yep. yep. Okay. So, uh, so for me, every battle, I do not know. I'm not sure if I'm going, if I'm going to win. Yeah. So it's it's actually it it is gonna be uh, exciting every battle because if I win this and th- these are not my uh, in this is, is not the team that I wanted but but I still won, I'll be wow I, I'm I'm very good at this. I'll be wow that's amazing. Yeah, it's it's exhilarating. Like oh, oh fish, uh, this is what he did. I need to. To counteract this, I need to do this to to win, blah, blah, blah. Because it's a turn-based system. Yeah, and a good thing I've always mentioned about the JW battle system, um, they, I think Olympian corrected me that they have up to four moves, correct? Um, but they, yeah, they they have up to four moves. Because I've I've played only the f- small part. I own I thought they only have two moves. But this is I'm gonna also, say I'm gonna say a very shameful thing. Yeah, I'm. I'm still playing it casually. Yeah, I Jurassic World Alive. It's yeah. PV their PVP is very uh entertaining, especially if you're just in one place and you yeah. and there's nothing to do. The PVP is pretty good. Yeah, I there's no shame in playing casual. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's so weird. <laughs> there are people that that watch this that play casual Pokemon Go. Don't change. Yeah, them. I'm, just, I'm just I'm just saying. Yeah, and another thing regarding the battle system, because you're 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 telling me that the one you want to copy on the system is the randomness. The random the the random part and then the uh, turn based system. Yeah, what I'm referring to, what I want to copy is the battle system itself, where there are two moves. One move that there is that almost has no cooldown 
which is the fast move, and a move that has a cooldown, which is charge a charge move. move. They can still use the fast move charge move system and just do moves. They can the charge. No, I the think good thing is... about the charge move is it has an effect. You can finally add the poison, the confusion, the yeah. burn, the paralyzed. Because the oh yeah, the, Jurassic World Rise also has status yeah, effects. Yeah, you so... can add status effects on the charge move. You can even add a. No, I think they do have to overhaul the whole system because even with they're they're gonna have to integrate with Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Pokemon Go, Le- Pokemon Let's Go has four obvious has four moves and like they don't Pokemon. have to they don't have to to cater for the Pokemon no, Let's Go. Pokemon Go came first. But still. <laughs> If they're going to connect each other, maybe they'll it must do... be a good connection. You can't have two moves on the one system and then four moves on the yeah, other one. Yeah, can... maybe if you transfer it on Pokemon Let's Go, but it will still... only have two moves. <laughs> but still, but still, that's why Pokemon the Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go to Pokemon Go is not possible because it has four moves, and there is there is actually small possibility that on does the that those four moves. One has a fast move and one is a charge move. So I think that's why they should overhaul the battle system. Yeah, but if they overhaul the battle system, how about raiding? I, I just told you earlier. Then th- I just told you earlier. Yeah, but tap how about and swipe? The... Tap and swipe. Yeah, which the... is the fast move? Which is the charge move? About the on the four moves. Oh my god! Exactly. That's the reason why the four why the four moves is is hard to implement because how will they implement it on raiding if they still want to tap and swipe you know what method? yeah you're right you, yeah you're right you do have a point but i'm just saying yeah i i i, I get you yeah yeah i get you come on man let's hug it out no oh, man. Oh. Ew, no <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh just for me uh yeah. for me for me tap and swipe for raiding or gym battles because it's going to be weird if it's turn-based system yeah. with a group. Exactly. That would be very weird. And then a yeah. turn-based... We're so sorry about this audio, guys. Yeah, the audio is a bit bad. Um, anyway, uh, hello, hello. Um, hello. Where was I? Holy yeah. fish. Um, you don't want a battle system. Oh, yeah, yeah. That. Uh, raiding, tap and swipe, raiding system. I do not want a turn-based raiding yeah. system with... How would you do a turn-based raiding. Yeah, exactly. It will be weird. So just uh, yeah. retain the tap and swipe for gym battles and raiding and then for PvP, you could you could connect to uh to yep. the, to people like like this like PV like PvP. literally you're facing each other Much PvP like, or like or like uh you can connect to the internet and you can you can uh, battle yep. someone Much like raiding, yeah. Yeah, randomly. No, like you can PvP. actually t- yeah, and like I Jurassic think, World Alive, yeah, yeah and, and connect, play, press battle, you get matched with someone, and then yeah, that's and it. much like Jurassic World, wherein you the nearer you are to the dinosaur, the greater your your um drone battery is. Yes, yes. Um, the battles should have a greater reward. When you are near the yeah, player, yeah, exactly, and it will have a small, significantly small reward. Mm-hmm. Still yeah, yeah, yeah. a reward, because because when I was playing Jurassic World yeah. Alive, I was not playing Pokemon Go. When I was, let's say, I was just uh, uh, in my house when I wasn't doing anything. I yeah. can't play Pokemon because when you've caught all the Pokemon in the area, what else is there to to do? I'll probably just. Manage my friends, give some gifts, and oh, then manage, uh, your trans- manage your Pokemon. Yeah. But there's nothing gameplay wise to do. Yeah. What I do when I'm not doing anything, I play Jurassic World alive. I'm playing alive. their uh, PvP alive. because it's pretty fun. Yeah, so that's it. Just copy some of the uh, Jurassic World alive PvP elements, and uh, all, is, all, is, is, all is gonna be good. All is going to be well. Um, it's not. Yeah, one more one more point that I have to make. Yeah. Uh, why random? Why do I want it random? Because uh, if you're gonna se- if you can select the Pokemon, uh, you're gonna be you're probably gonna be OP. Your your team is probably yeah. OP, and what you're gonna select is probably OP. Exactly. So to to remedy that, just just randomize it. It would uh, bring a lot 
a lot more to the uh, to the PvP experience. I think if they release Gen 5, I think they should probably remove the randomness because in Gen 5, there will be a lot of Pokemon that are powerful. Mm, I see. All right. I think that concludes it. Uh, this uh, audio system is super annoying right now, so yeah, let's cut it. It's quite of annoying. It's yeah. kind of annoying. Again, we're sorry. Uh, they gave us a uh, bad room with bad equipment. Bad. Did they, here you go. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, bad equipment. Maybe maybe we shouldn't we shouldn't pay them. Yeah. <laughs> Even we, though we we're just not. Run away. But <laughs> maybe we just we just we just stop using this kar- karaoke place and just get a proper studio. Like, yeah, like. and <laughs> buy buy your own mic so we can have. We can have a pair of mics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, it's we'll just do that when we get free. our own studio slash yeah. our own room. Anyway, uh, that's 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 pretty much it. Let me let me just do yeah. This. And also, before we go, I would like to make a big announcement. Oh yeah, big announcement. Regarding I, I, the... I do not know I do not know anything about this. So yeah, he, ha- he has yeah. a special announcement. Go ahead, yeah. man. And he doesn't know this, so. His reaction right now would be a teaser. Genuine. Oh, okay. Should I play this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Ismael signing off, reminding you that. Stop and look around the surroundings. Maybe you'll see. Wah! Yeah, it's pretty good, yo. It's pretty good. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, I would be releasing a, a few videos on self, the self, which would be more uh, more aimed on giving information. And, tips. O- and also, the behind the scenes of that video would be on my personal channel, which is more of a vlog style that is more of a vernacular style. It would be on Filipino, so it would not be it would be out of place in the self, which is mm, more true. geared to the English speaking audience. So true, true. if you are a Filipino that likes a a Filipino speaking vlog, that is a different style mm. that is more on the someone who doesn't know how to do videography and doesn't have a job as a videographer style. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Come on, man. That's, yeah. That's, that's, don't sell yourself for this. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, and um, the first episode would probably air next week if I finish the if I finish the video. I, I'm prob- I've, the first video I'm probably... I, I'm not sure if it's still going to be the first episode, but the first episode that I'll be tackling, which is regarding, first regarding the nests, nest migrations. Mm-hmm. If you're not familiar with nests, he, this is a great video because here's the thing. I wanted to start this because all the videos that are created regarding Pokemon Go information are probably from 2016 and 2017, true, true, which is true. not really that updated. And will probably it's very true. have if they if they said this these Pokemon don't nest. Mm-hmm. It would probably just be Gen One or at the very least Gen Two. Mm-hmm. I would like to I would like to create a new fresh take on new on information. If you are a returning player or a starting player, this is the best place to start All looking right. for information. All right, that sounds awesome, man. Yeah, and if you're I would li- if in the if you watch this podcast, there is a link on the teaser. If you want to watch the teaser yourself, there is a link. It's probably up even yesterday because it's going to be posted. I when is this? Will this? I be probably posted? just posted it tonight. Yeah, it it's probably been posted since twelve o'clock noon. Yeah, so, so so you can watch it and it's in my own personal personal channel. Subscribe. Yeah, and, subscribe. Yeah. So. uh Let's do yeah. the end thingy. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, you can uh, follow us on the Silk YT on Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube. You can follow me and at Malcolm Judd, and uh, you can follow me at Twitter at Ismael BP. Um, I tweet a lot of stuff. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, I tweet more about movies and stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys 
uh, uh, tomorrow. Probably. Yeah. yeah, thanks guys. And I'm reminding you that you can't always get what you want. You can only get what you need. Okay. That's a song. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, awesome. guys. Bye.